Hello, my name is Mackenzie and I'm autistic and this is my YouTube channel. We talk about a wide array of autistic topics on my channel. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, and share it. Um, if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, my link is below. Thank you for watching. So executive functioning and autism. What is executive functioning? Um, executive functioning basically is an umbrella term for many different neurological functions that uh, basically involve using the resources around you to reach your goals. That's the easiest explanation I've found for this term. And it has to do with autism because many people with autism have difficulty with executive functioning skills. These skills are most typically associated with organizing, planning, and time management skills. They're the most visual ones and um, there's underlying reasons why people with autism may have difficulty with these things. Today, I'm only going to go over one component of executive functioning difficulties, which is trouble with working memory. So what is working memory? Uh, working memory, I'm going to give you an analogy to explain this because it's a complicated concept that uh, has many very heavily technical terms in its definition. So I'm going to give you an analogy. So I have a file cabinet in my room that holds all my important documents that I'll need later on, like a passport, birth certificate, all the important things that um, I'll need later on and I need to hold on to. It's all in there. I also have a basket where all my new incoming paperwork, including my mail, paycheck stubs, and any piece of paper that's handed to me, it goes into this paper purgatory bin. And it will stay in there until I figure out whether or not this paperwork goes to the garbage or I'll need it later on and it goes into my file cabinet for important documents. Now, how is this analogous to working memory? Well, that paper purgatory bin that I told you about, it's exactly like working memory. Um, it's working memory holds all new incoming information, holds it there kind of like a list on a whiteboard or something, holds that information there, and eventually it gets transferred, that information, to long-term memory, or it gets forgotten, and we don't remember it again. That's the two directions it can go, but it holds it there for you to remember, even though it's not in long-term memory. Yeah, it's a temporary storage area for the uh, for new information. Yay. Now I'm going to explain what uh, difficulties with working memory looks like in real life by using myself as an example uh, for everybody that has autism. It can present itself differently in different people, but I'll just like use real life examples because you know, I have them on hand. Um, so one thing that can happen is having a um, fragile working memory that uh, decides to really mess with you and the amount of information that you can take in shifts. So the psychologist that diagnosed me with uh, autism explained it like this, um, a funnel, you, you've seen one of those, a funnel where you pour water or something into it and it funnels into a container. Um, the amount that gets funneled in, that comes in to the, the working memory and can be held, um, switches depending on the day, how stressed I feel that it, it switches out and the amount of information that can actually go through the funnel and that actually gets in there shifts. So amount of information that can be taken in shifts. That's one. Um, another is uh, difficulty um, taking in verbal instructions and remembering them. You know that uh, taking in from information and remembering it temporarily. Um, for me personally, verbal instructions and verbal information that's told to me, I have to immediately write it down 
or I will forget. Um, I have a app called Google Keeps on my phone that like I automatically try to write down stuff because I'll forget it. And um, I can't be trusted with verbal information. I gotta write it down. My family knows about that um, and they, they know. They remind me sometimes. Um, and another component of working memory that can present an autism uh, difficulty with it is uh, I do this frequently. <laughs> when I read this, I laughed. Um, walking into a room uh, and not knowing why you came in there. I did that quite a few times. Um, basically, the way this is happening is I. this was the first step of completing the task. I walked to the room that I needed to get something in or something like that. But I enter the room and I've forgotten the next step uh, for this task and what I was supposed to get. And now I need to reference something that's visual, um, like a checklist, um, in order to remember what I was doing and stuff. Yeah. A lot of interesting, interesting things. If you have issues like this or you just want to share below anything that has to do with this topic, feel free to. I've got a lot of funny stories myself. If you like my content and you'd like to see more, please like, subscribe, and share. I post a video every Saturday, and if you're watching for your loved one, for yourself, or your friend, I welcome feedback. Please tell me anything you'd like me to expand on or any other topics. Just write in the comments below. Hope to see you again next week.